Hi, it's Steve here from Bardsey. Um, we're doing something a bit different today. Uh, George has been up to Nant and collected some moths from uh, his moth traps that he's got up there. I'm just walking back to the obs from uh, Nant. We put some moth traps out last night. Um, one in the plantation and one in the garden at uh, Tecapo. Um And we've caught a few different things. Um, than what we'd normally catch. Uh, we've caught a V pug, uh, which I've not caught in the garden yet. We caught uh, a couple of early thorns, um, double striped pug, quite a few uh, Hebrew characters and a couple of common Quakers as well. Um, so I'm just heading back to the obs with those now. George and I are just gonna go through uh, the catch with you and show you what uh, what he's caught. There's some from uh, the Nant Trap and some at uh, Ticapel Garden and some of the other bits we caught in the garden here at the OBS. So there's George and Hi everyone. we're going to show you what we've got. So should we just start with an early thorn? Mm -hmm. Here we are. Don't fly around. So these are unusual in the fact that they hold their wings upwards um, in comparison there's another one to things like Hebrew characters which are in here uh, you see so there. we'll try and open the doesn't matter if these escape now we've recorded them all uh, so there's a Hebrew character So these marks on the side, the black marks, um, I think are a letter in the Hebrew alphabet. Yeah, they're supposed to look like a Hebrew character. <laughs> and let's see if we can get this one out. Oh, so <clears throat> there's the early thorn that's gone and sat on George. Go. So these are part of the uh, geometrid uh, group of moths and uh, from what I can remember from uh, my A-level biology many many years ago uh, geometrid uh, means earth measurer and that's something to do with uh, their caterpillars and how their caterpillars walk which is basically they, they sort of go along like that and apparently measure the earth so uh, then we've got here the is underwing. a blossom underwing and they're a fairly scarce moth here on Bardsey uh, we don't get many of those at all Let's see if we can get this one out. Uh, we'll release all these moths back into the uh, undergrowth. Um, so there's the blossom underwing. And George has got some nice pictures of this, haven't you? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I touched them the other day in the sun. This next one is a red chestnut. Pretty little thing. Nice markings down the side. Got a spruce carpet. Oh, that one was from in the spruce plantation. Yeah, this one, uh, as its uh, name suggests. It's larvae feed on spruce. So this was from the Sitka spruce plantation up at Nant. So we've got a common Quaker. Now the food plant of common Quaker or the larvae of common Quaker is basically oak and willow and other deciduous trees. So that's what their caterpillars feed on. 
And then, what else have we got, George? More of the same, really. Let's see if we can get this bee pug to open its wings. It's a lovely little green coloured uh, geometry mm. that doesn't want to open its wings. And it's got a nice little V mark on the uh, on the upper wing. Right. Well, that's it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll uh, hopefully do something similar again when uh, when we catch some more moths. Bye. Bye. -bye.